to look it up a second time. There's another who's excelled in this preseason. But as Gathers, can he hit a target? They're moving well. Oh, good cohesion. Marshall took the mark. More with another couple of threes. And those big bags were all here at the Adelaide Oval. And with the sun shining, he continues on in that fashion with the first goal of the season for Paul. Didn't turn out so well. Well, Francis barging his way through again. Getting it deep. Marshall might let it sail on. Oh, they'll go crazy for their new man. I thought I'd see him running around that black jumper. He's just got Nathan Buckley written all over him. Same sort of frames. Same disposition. Throw that mullet out a bit further. <laughs> he gets Wilmot tied it up. A couple of youngsters. Houston, speaking of kicking, he's got a, a power boot. Jones. Was he interfered with? Georgiades. He cops it from Stasevich. Power Pepper strong. Takes a bit to slow him down. It could have been high. Play on. Oh, oh, no, no, I saw it. it yeah, really nice. He's the fourth umpire. Yeah, hello. So the extra set of eyes close to that. He yells three last year in his 13 games, so incredibly accurate, and that is not a problem. What a fine start this is for Port Adelaide. Goes to Rosie. The great mates combined to half four. Oh, oh, oh he didn't quite hang on. Oh, they paid oh, he's, oh, he's, he's paid it. He's paid it. He's had an impact already. A big oh. mark. This for his second goal. An extra flourish <laughs> just to make sure we're all watching. And we are. Oh, how exciting is that? Greatest. Wealth of numbers there. Dersma. Wines, Burn Jones. Good. Almost got close enough. Well placed kick for Dixon. A third chance for Charlie Dixon. In this second quarter, and as a leader, he'll realise the responsibility. Yep. I said didn't quite get the jump right. Oh. Couldn't release. So good pressure early for Port Adelaide at the start of the third. No shortage wow. of offers going past. Burton got some Yours good pace up. And the kick looks good too for Marshall. Well, so the option then is... So a goal on the siren at half time. And then just after, bring Port back to within a goal. Dixon to the front. Almost got away from McInerney. It went straight to Butters. Bergman. Great vision. Jones takes the mark. Yeah, One right. goal last year in 14 games. Multiple positions. Small forward today. Pressure, but goals as well. And the game is tied up. And the contest is on. But three consecutive goals to the home team. Lysette making his presence felt as well. Drew. It's all go for poor Horn Francis. Close enough for that long right foot. No, Georgiades. Well, at some stage, these boys had to put their hand up, and it's, it's looking good. Georgiati is thankful to be at point blank range. He puts it through and puts Port in front. Three contested yeah. marks in Port Adelaide's favour. This end, a big well, say in that. Hey. Just a little three-quarter kick to try and keep them guessing. And Marshall was able to adjust quicker than anyone else. <laughs> Third for Todd Marshall. Started to kick... Bags of goals last year as his confidence in the game grows. Seven to nothing clearances this quarter. McInerney, there's another Rioli power pepper. It gets there. It's an avalanche at the Adelaide Oval. Rosie, great collaboration again, Houston. Pin the ears back along to the square. The extra Andrews over the top. Jones, did he get it? He thinks he did. But the goal will count. But Port have six for the quarter, unanswered. Well, seven possessions to butter, six to Horn Francis. 100% Horn, Horn Francis by foot. Wines again there, fully loaded. Georgiades, Oriole. That's a more simple equation. He rolls through another. 
The entertainment doesn't stop. This is big. Maybe Brisbane's way. No, he puts pay to that horn, Francis. Yeah, a a look of resignation on the face of Hugh McCluggage. He knew he was gone. And Jason Horn Francis with a stellar third turn and finishes it off with the most sublime pass onto the big chest of King Charles. In imposing display this quarter. After the siren in the second quarter, Dixon kicks a goal. And after the siren, after an incredible third quarter, he's done it again. Horn Francis with a setup kick. Oh, and Dixon again. He's beating Harris Andrews time and time again, and that is no easy feat. This for a third. Fifth contested mark. Wow. He's an imposing figure. And when he converts, Porter hard to stop. Oh. Number swelling. Burn Jones right on the chest of Ollie Wines. Yeah, getting up. See Jonas, a lot falls on him, and McKenzie's undersized. Six goals, 11 last year, Ollie Wines. Pure. Another goal to Port Adelaide. All the contests that matter at the moment. And then those ahead of the football getting in on the act. And this is Francis Evans. Little handoff to Rosie with a run up. He gives it plenty. Goal, oh, what a star! <laughs> Everyone's getting in on the act. And what a performance it has been from Porter. Oh, early riser was McKenna. He's paid the advantage mark. And I think Charlie's had a big pre-season as well. He's really fit, so he's going to be capable of going and play, doing some ruck work throughout the season. But he's looked fantastic ahead of the foot, ahead of the ball today, especially since late in that second quarter. And little offering in the pocket from Marshall, which he takes. Well, this is where it's all just unravelling everywhere. Was it, was anyone was nowhere near him. It's, it's, it's certainly been, been one of those days for Brisbane. Been a pounding by Port Adelaide. And it's been a heck of an afternoon for Port Adelaide, and it's not done yet. Marshall adds another. Yeah, he's he been can good. Get back to his best and just claim that wing position. Just super important. One last surge. And on the end of it is Marshall. Is he within range? So all their mids, younger mids, especially Gaz, make good days. And Francis, Rosie Butters, was fighting about the crew on Durs, but building some depth there. Todd Marshall for number five. Didn't have it in the legs. Oh, playing in front. Lucky Jones. They get a shot after the siren. It's academic because Paul Adelaide have power to a 48 point win a second half demolition and the brisbane lions have copped it into the hornet's nest they've come and they have fallen well and truly short and rocky jones finishes off an unbelievable afternoon for port adelaide they lost the first five last year. They win in style at the Adelaide Oval today.